Moscow is under fire for the latest accusation of atrocities in Ukraine. Tens of thousands of children have been forcibly taken from their families, shipped to remote parts of Russia, and then illegally adopted. The international community is calling out Russia for this war crime, while NGOs are scrambling to rescue these children and return them to their families. CBN contributor Chuck Holton has the story. Ukrainian children are being used as pawns in Russia's ongoing war against Ukraine. Vladimir Putin is accused by the International Criminal Court of unlawful deportation of children. Ukrainian authorities are pushing for the return of thousands of Ukrainian kids taken from their own country and forcibly adopted into Russian families. The numbers of the children vary anywhere from 16,000 that have been proven to, by name, it's 16,000, like 121 children, so it's by names, to over 300,000 that the Russian Commissioner for Children's Rights is claiming that they've taken over. And these children have been illegally taken to Russia, these are Ukrainian children, and given Russian citizenship and being adopted into Russian families really illegally. Last May, President Putin changed Russian adoption laws to simplify the process and enable these illegal adoptions. Majority of them do have living parents or relatives, and so they have been illegally, many of them have been forcefully separated from their parents when the parents were taken into so-called filtration camps, where the parents have been checked for their allegiance to Ukraine and would be charged you know, with that as a crime, and the children would be separated and taken into Russia or some into the occupied Crimea. When um, uh, uh, the mother with uh, her four years old uh, daughter uh, tried to pass this filtration camp and then they separate her from her daughter and she had to give her little daughter to some woman she even didn't know and we still don't know what happened to her. The children are often sent to remote parts of Russia where they're brainwashed and turned against their own families. They were uh, transferred to some regions in Russia without any connection, without uh, uh, even cell phones. They, uh, they had, have no money, they have no uh, even um, opportunity to connect with uh, Ukrainian, so Ukrainian authorities or relatives in Ukraine. The ICC has issued an arrest warrant charging Putin and his children's rights commissioner with war crimes for these disturbing practices. The Russians say they took the children for their protection and are working with foreign organizations to repatriate them. Last summer, they've encouraged parents to send them to the summer camps so that the children would have some um, alleviation from war, and then they never returned to the children. Ukrainian authorities are working tirelessly to have these children returned. On April 9th, a group of 31 Ukrainian children were reunited with their families here in Kyiv, a happy ending to an ongoing nightmare for at least a few Ukrainian mothers. But there are many more still missing. It is uh, maybe uh, unreal to, to realize that uh, those things are going on just now and happening in, in the center of Europe. But they do. This, these things are happening. And just imagine what those women feel. Chuck Holton, CBN News, Ukraine. Well, it is hard to imagine that this is happening today. Terry, what, what is Orphan's Promise doing in, in Ukraine now for this? Well, we, the first thing that we did was get all of our kids that were in our centers to the, to the western part of Ukraine and some of them into Europe. We have children now in Switzerland, Germany, Poland. Uh, there were some families that were there. You know, people wait to leave because it's everything that they own that they're walking away from. And so those families that were there as this invasion became stronger and more difficult. Um, those are the families whose children were separated from them. And the, you remember a long time ago, we prayed for a woman who had been uh, betrayed by a friend, Valentina, and turned over. Well, this is what happens to the, you just don't see see them again. You know, they're gone. They so I, I marvel at these reunions that we just saw in here. You know, who but God can make something like that happen. But the wickedness of it is, you know, what makes you just shake your head.
the reporter said, and it's true, who can imagine what, what goes on in the hearts of mothers and fathers who are separated from their kids like that? Well, it, who, what goes on in the hearts of a Russian official yeah. that would put this kind of plan together or the Russian families who would receive and, yeah. and not try to say, well, where are your nat natural parents? Where is mm -hmm. your family? How can we reunite you? Reunite. You know, I, I wonder if maybe they are told that families have been lost in the war and if children then are told that their parents no longer exist. Because I, I think Putin is a wicked man. I don't think all of the Russian people are. I think they're misinformed. I think they're kept in the dark about things. Um, it would be hard to imagine that there would be that many families that would welcome yeah, that, that kind of a plan. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, if you want to support Orphan's Promise, it's real simple. All you have to do is call us, 1-800-700-7000. Orphan's Promise started in Ukraine. This isn't something we just created uh, in the aftermath of the invasion. We've been there for decades, and we're there in your name when you support it. So if you want to be a part of it, give us a call, 1-800-700-7000. Say, I want to give to Orphan's Promise.